What's going on guys? Krusty Case here from the Gold Boys Network coming to the MLB Slate Preview for August 15th. Uh, before we hop into this, I want to remind everybody you get all these odds at FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, we got a pretty short slate, but let's talk about it. So our first one, the Oakland Athletics taking on the Mets. Mitch Spence versus Jose Quintana. Uh, this, is a, this is an Oakland team who's been crushing lefties, truthfully, and I, I, I want to back them here. So I'm going to take Oakland on the money line. I think they do win this game. Mitch Spence, I mean... He hasn't been great, but he's been good enough. And this Mets team, we all know, you know, definitely a bit inconsistent at times. And, I mean, I love Quintana. I've backed him quite a few times. But this feels like a spot where he can definitely struggle. Like I said, Oakland's been finding ways to really get to these lefties, man. And this feels like one of those spots where they just get to Quintana here. So give me Oakland on the money line. Our next one, the Seattle Mariners taking on the Detroit Tigers. This is Bryce Miller. Uh, ESPN has it as undecided for the Tigers, but I'm seeing Kenta Maeda. Um, not sure how valid that is, but I've seen a couple spots. We're going to roll with that. Uh, for me here, it's going to be Seattle on the money line. Really simple. I mean, Bryce Miller, he's been really good this season. I want to back him against the Tigers team who just flat out isn't hitting right now. Uh, they did get to Kirby two games ago. That was more of on Kirby, in my opinion, than on the Tigers actually doing something. He was just leaving a lot of pitches fat over the plate, and they were getting hit. You know, even, even teams that don't hit well, when you leave the pitcher over the middle of the plate, there's a good chance they're going to do some damage, and that's kind of what happened there. Um, so for me, Mariners on my line. Wait, before we get back to the picks, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Woo! Friends don't let friends watch videos without hitting the like button. So go ahead and press the thumbs up button and like the video. If you're new here and not subscribed, you should go ahead and do so because we're dropping new content each and every day on the Gold Boys Network. We strive to cover every sport and give out picks and analysis and valuable information for free on the Gold Boys Network. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop something new. I'm Brad Thomas. Let's get back to the picks. Our next one, the Dodgers taking on the Brewers. Jack Flaherty versus Tobias Myers. I'm going to be on the under here. So, I mean, I love Jack Flaherty. We all talk, we all know that. I talk about it all the time. Um, I think he continues to pitch really well for this Dodgers team. On the flip side, obviously it's, you know, terrifying to want to take an under with the Dodgers lineup going. But Tobias Myers has been really good. And I think he continued to pitch well for this Milwaukee team. I think this thing soars under, truthfully. Wouldn't be surprised if we see this thing, you know, two to one final score. I uh, really like these pitchers to deal here. Our next one, the Braves take on the Giants. Max Freed versus Logan Webb. Um, I'm going to be on the Giants money line. Uh, simple as that. So, I mean, travel spot, obviously. And Logan Webb at home, uh, I have no choice but to go here. Uh, this Braves team has been incredibly underwhelming, as we've all seen. They did get Michael Harris back, so maybe that helps a bit. But, I mean, overall, this team just hasn't been the team that we're used to seeing. And I think Logan Webb would take full advantage of that here. A uh, really good spot for him to pitch well. I do think Max Freed pitches relatively well. I mean, he's been getting touched up quite a bit. And, I mean, honestly, I mean, this Giants team's crushing lefties. They're striking out a lot against lefties, but they're crushing lefties. So, to see this price at a minus 110 is a little bit surprising, truthfully. I think it's like a respect to who Max Freed, like the one we're accustomed to seeing. And I just don't think he's in that form yet um, since coming back from injury. So, give me the Giants on the money line here. Our next one, the Boston Red Sox. Taking on the Baltimore Orioles, Nick Pavetta versus Zach Eflin. Uh, it's going to be the Orioles here for me, and it's really just because Zach Eflin, man, since joining Boston, abs or since joining Baltimore, has been absolutely outstanding. I mean, this guy, uh, you know, he he they alter his pitch mix a bit, and he's just gotten like that much better. And I I don't see how he doesn't navigate this Boston lineup. Boston, has, um, they're coming off a game a series against Texas. They do have to go to Baltimore. I mean, not like a crazy travel spot, but travel nonetheless for like a relatively early start. And I just think Eflin pitches well. Pavetta, he's a guy we all know has pretty good strikeout stuff. But he's going to give up a lot of hard contact. And this Baltimore team at home, we all know they rake. They're crushing righties. Uh, this is a spot for their bats to really get it going. And I think they cruise to a win here, getting Baltimore on the money line. Hey, guys, I just want to give a quick reminder that new users can bet $5 at FanDuel on any of the bets in this video and win $150 in bonus bets if the bet wins. Now let's get back to the bets. Our next one, the Nationals taking on the Phillies. Mitchell Parker versus Zach Wheeler. I hate to just say Philly's minus one and a half, but I mean, it's really where I want to go. Uh, just backing Zach Wheeler at home to handle this Washington lineup, who, or in my opinion, is just not good. So I like the Phillies minus one and a half. If you want like a different angle, I think the PPD could potentially be in play here. Obviously, Washington as a team, not striking out a ton, but pending lineup, they'll have like four or five solid targets in there. 
And depending on how many Ks we're, we need, I think it's attainable for Wheeler. So I like the Phillies minus one and a half or a PPD potentially, depending on what his line's set at. Our next one, and the last one on this slate, like I said, short slate, Bailey Ober versus Cody Bradford. This is the Twins taking on the Rangers. I like the over, but I'm going to preface it by saying I think I like the, the Twins team total more. Um, I just settled on the over because I feel like overs do for a stinker. Uh, this guy's been really good, I mean, I'm, and I just I have a hard time believing it. So it's one of those things where, like, is Texas the team to do it? I truly don't know because their bats have been super inconsistent this season. But they have some good lefties. We all know Corey Seager. You know, I mean, they have guys who can do damage. And so for me, this total thing at eight and a half, I feel like it's sitting there not just because they expect the Twins to get to Bradford, but I think that the Rangers can get to Ober as well. So give me the over here. That does conclude the slate, though. Super, super short video this time. Uh, but, you know, got you guys all the picks. Hopefully we cash a whole bunch. Before we hop off, I'll give you my top three on the short slate. Um, let's roll with the under in the Dodgers Brewers, the Athletics money line, and the Orioles money line. Those are my top three. As always, you can get all my official plays at goldboys.com. If you have a gambling problem, don't want to hurt a gambler. Thank you, guys.